nowadays a lot of rappers to think is they get they get two watches then they do the little you know what i'm saying yeah is is that corny to you because you never i've never seen you rock two watches at one time but that's like the thing now that a lot of rappers do so the two okay this is how i look at it when i see the people doing that with the two watches most likely it's two cheap watches so they're just this is a tech so um when I do see it, it'd be like a cheap Rolex and a cheap Cartier. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you, uh, yeah, you can put two, you can put three of them on there because it's like 20 racks, 17 racks, something like that. But I mean, that's cool and all, but I'd rather just get one nice, good watch and just one and then wear my braces on the other one. You know what I mean? And do it like that versus might as well get a nice watch. You don't got to do the two watches really. You feel me? But a lot I don't of, really like the look of two watches. Yeah, I don't either. It's kind of doing too much. Like yeah, one yeah, nice watch yeah. is saying something. Exactly. Yeah. One good nice watch, and then it, uh, you can have your bracelets and all that type of stuff filled up, but not two little cheap watches and doing this and like you're a boxer. <laughs> 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 like you're a boxer. You feel me? So I don't know. It's weird, but fuck it. What other things you know you see people with jewelry do that's like, eh? I don't, cause I know you've been, you know, we all know Ben Man Kello, you've been in this thing for going on 10 years. Yeah. So what's some things that you see people do with jewelry and it's kind of like a no, no for you. So, I mean, jewelry. Um, my main biggest pet peeve with jewelry be like, okay, if I can't afford like like what I've been seeing with guys is when they go get their little um their little pendants. And they're okay, if they look at my jewelry, right? And they look at all the other rappers' jewelry, you can't sell me this cheesy little charm or this cheesy little piece of work for, for expensive. Cause it's like you should know, like, guys gotta be just smarter with buying jewelry. That's how I look at it. Like, because they buying these little cheesy pieces and they like, man, yeah, this costs 25,000. Like, bro, they charge you 25,000 for that? So I think a lot of people just don't steal no quality and no, they just feel like if they got their name on something and it shines a little bit, it's good quality. They need to really dig deep into the, the quality of diamonds, the like the quality of gold, what type of gold, how many, like it just gotta be more done. I, I just see a lot of cheap shit on the internet and you just be like, man, bro, they are ripping you off. That shit is like twenty five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? And they saying it's twenty five thousand. Right. But but as far as jewelry, I'm, I mean, I'm really not sure. I mean, I just I seen a lot of stuff. You feel me? I know a lot of people out here. They rock definitely fake jewelry. Like a lot of these guys that you see, that's they. It's a lot of fake jewelry, like super fake jewelry. Not even real diamonds. Like you know, feel me? 